We've been talking about it for four weeks now, but the Super Mario Brothers movie, after only four weeks of release, is sitting there at $1 billion globally. Hits that big $1 billion mark now that it's finally been released in Japan, in South Korea, and basically everywhere around the world. This movie just continues to go. And when you look at weekend over weekend, look at this thing. It's almost at $500 million domestically. Keep in mind, Jeremy, that Frozen 2's entire domestic box office run was around $470 million. Now, that's a movie that did really well internationally, obviously, almost a billion dollars internationally. But that's how much, that's how well this thing's doing here in the United States right now and how well it's resonating. And you look at the weekend to weekend drop, 37%, 35%, 33%. Still sitting there with around a $40 million fourth weekend for Super Mario Brothers. And really, this just is one more indicator. We talk about it every time how far Disney has fallen in comparison to Universal right now. But last year, this is an article from last year, December 7th from our friend Scott Mendelson, all right, over on The Wrap, how Disney Animation lost the box office crown of Universal for three straight years with no turnaround in sight. Well, this is now the official confirmation. There is no turnaround in sight. Universal owns Disney when it comes to family animated movies. Disney has completely dropped the ball and Universal picked it up and is running with it. As much as I anticipated this movie making a billion dollars, I didn't anticipate this movie becoming what it's become. I feel that this has been a shift in entertainment. This is a major shift right now as to what's going on. Now, it doesn't mean that it's just the shift is done you know, just because the movie and the success. But if you look at how this has resonated with so many people, fans, casual people, and just showing that at its core, all you really need to do is honor the fans. That's really all you have to do. Mario did not do anything spectacular from a storytelling standpoint. It just didn't, and it didn't need to. Now, I'm not telling you that Nintendo anticipated this movie is going to be the big hit that it has become. I, I, Miyamoto's on record saying it, it surprised him even. Um, this has been a shift, a major shift, and the discussion surrounding it has been crazy. As I said, right after it came out, I made the statement like, hey, this kind of has like a TLJ in the opposite direction you know, discussions surrounding it. And I feel that this is kind of resonating with people on that level too. And it has. And so this is a big moment because clearly they have so, this isn't a one-off. This isn't an isolated movie that just came out. It's going to come and go. This is something that you can build an entire universe around. And as we've seen from Hollywood, Hollywood is a very trend uh, oriented place. So when something else starts to be successful, then other places start to try to follow those trends. And Mario has opened the floodgates, I think. This is crazy. And it's on now, right now, from what we've heard from Japan and South Korea, I don't think those numbers came in quite as strong as a lot of people are anticipating. However, it did come in, I think in Japan, it came in like 14 million opening weekend. I think that's more than Frozen, the first Frozen, but far, far less than something like Demon Slayer. And to be fair, yeah. it also did open like, I don't think it opened on a traditional weekend, what it would have. It was, it was like a little one day less than it normally would have been for Japan, at least from what I was looking at. But yeah, it, a little over $14 million. It's it's setting records in terms of universal releases and animated releases and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I don't I don't think that you're going to see like $500 million in Japan or anything like that. I, I think um, I think we talked about like maybe $100 or $2 million total between like Japan and South Korea. If those numbers hold, if it gets to $200 million between those two territories, I think that it's got a it's got a like an outside shot at topping Frozen 2 for the highest grossing animated film of all time. Regardless as to what it does, it has cemented its place as a legitimate monumental success on every single level. Yeah, notably Japan opened this weekend on 776 screens. The start was a huge 14.3 million to score the biggest opening weekend ever for an animated studio movie as well as the biggest Saturday box office in Universal history topping Jurassic World Dominion. In only two days, Super Mario became the fastest universal film to reach a billion yen, and the weekend result is the biggest universal opening of all time. So yeah, it, it's doing really well. And, and internationally, just in general, it's performing very well as well. Will it hold up? That's really the question. To date, Super Mario is performing above many comps, for example, and excluding China, it's over Jurassic World by 12%, 16% ahead of Frozen 2, 27 in front of Minions, 32 in front of Beauty and the Beast, 33 per of uh, ahead of Spider-Man Far From Home, and 51% above last year's Minions Rise of Gru. So that's a movie that continued to have legs through the summer. 
and you know almost hit a billion dollars and it's tracking 51% above that 